Guess what? Y'all niggas some hoes. I gotta upload all these videos. In the last two days, I got so many videos. It's crazy. I had a lot of videos before Sean funeral. I got a lot of videos now to edit and upload. Just after the fact, like God damn. <clears throat> Bling blow. Why oh, I got this new though? Bling blow. Wonder what Juice is doing. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably sleep. <laughs> Man, it's, you know it's funny because it's always oh, time I ain't talked to Juice. Uh, Saturday, like after the funeral and shit, I ain't talked to Juice really. He had to go uh, to his brother house and shit. So, you know, you learn something new every day. Like, literally, like that's part, that's it. It's all in the video and shit. I'm gonna upload that shit. I probably upload this one first and whatnot and then get to working on the other ones because they on, they on the other phone and shit. So, but I'm gonna upload. I'm gonna upload that, that, this one right now. It might take a little minute then get to work on these other ones and shit. Sitting up here, I was watching the Matrix and shit. But you learn something new every day, like, like, it, it was crazy. It was crazy. It was just crazy. I'm gonna say Cause Bobo, like, it ain't no need to get upset. Ain't no need to get upset. Like she, she's bitter. So don't get mad. Like I knew it was some bullshit when my sister told me. I told my sister to stay out of it too. Like stay out of her bullshit. Yeah, please tell your sister to stay out of her bullshit. Cause I don't have a problem with your, with your sisters. Neither one of your sisters. I don't have a problem with them. Like tell them to stay out of that Nia shit. You heard what I said? Nia shit. There ain't no Frankie in Nia shit. That's Nia shit. Stay out of that Nia shit. Cause Nia gonna get a lot of people hurt. For no reason. Or because she mad and she bitter. Because I don't wanna be worried because she couldn't get her shit together. You know I mean? Only thing you gotta do is act right. You don't know how to act right? You want raise right? I mean, shit. Your parents taught you how to act right as a child. Shit. You don't know how to act right? You can't get your act together? It's a lot of shit though. It's a, I'm, it's, I'm telling you, it's a lot of shit that I can say. That, that Nia didn't say that they spoke on and spoke on some shit or whatnot, but I ain't even gonna do it. It's like, I mean, I can, but I'm not. <laughs> it's a lot of shit that I can say, but I'm not. I mean, she keep fucking with me. I am. I am. I'm gonna tell all her little secrets and all the shit she didn't talked about about everybody. That's including Toya, Sylvia, Mariah, Makaya, Sasha, Kiki, 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 Sasha,
for, you know, for each day. And shit, that's 30 fucking dollars right there. Man, $30 hurt my pocket. What the fuck? I don't want my mama to say shit to me. So I made sure my shit was done. I know I know what time she getting off of work. I know what time she coming home to take her little break, get her little nap in before she had to go to job number motherfucking two. And then from job number motherfucking two, she had to go do her hustle and shit. You feel me? Because she getting off at four. Her hustle, she had to be there at five. She get off her hustle at motherfucking six. She had to go right back to the school bus. Drive them little raggedy ass little motherfucking kids. Then she come the fuck home from there and get her little nap in and shit. So I know what time my mama was getting off of motherfucking work. You feel me? Shit. I know her whole motherfucking schedule to this motherfucking day. I still know her motherfucking schedule and I'm 30 motherfucking five. You feel me? Shit. I was six, seven, eight, nine, ten years old when she had that motherfucking schedule and shit. <laughs> she ain't get the DOT route and the DOT schedule until later. Who is this? Yeah, okay. I ain't gonna say no names. But yeah, I know I know the motherfucking route and shit. So I know what time my mama getting home. You would think most kids would be like, shit, my mama about to get off in the hour. Let me hear you go knock this shit out real quick. So she won't say shit. I won't have to hear her motherfucking mouth. You feel me? Cause that's how I was. I don't want to hear your motherfucking mouth. Shut up. Yeah, <laughs> shit. I'm gonna tell her that. You're gonna beat my ass. <laughs> but I don't want to hear your mouth. So I'm about to go ahead and knock this shit out. Now my brothers on the other hand, they were stupid. Stupid as fuck. Not Steve. I mean, after a while, Steve, like, shit, just clean up behind you. Why y'all, why it's so hard for you to just clean up behind you? I mean, for real, that's just, like, just easy, simple shit, like, yeah, I like that better. Just clean up behind your nasty ass. I'm tired of cleaning up behind everybody and shit. Like, go clean up. You made that mess. You gonna clean that shit up. So me and Stevie had to get my mama with the program. Like, them niggas did that shit. Craig had all his friends over, eating up all the food out the refrigerator, and you told him not to have them niggas over in the house no more, eating up all the food, and he did it anyways. That, that nigga Craig, yeah, I mean, yeah, like, nigga, I'm sick of that shit, like, don't bother me, because I'm, I'm a loner, See, I was always alone, by myself, and when I was outside, I was with a gang of my motherfucking cousins, my two little brothers and shit, and we was acting bad, you feel me, like, <clears throat> and then I'd be right back in the house, I could stay in the house in my motherfucking room for, for, for days, like, I, I've always been, I, I was born alone, I'm gonna die alone, so, I've always been like that. I like to be alone. I mean, you can think. You can get a peace of mind when you're alone. Then you ain't got no nagging ass, whining ass, complaining ass bitch, wanna be ass girlfriend and shit, always nagging and whining and shit about some shit like that. Bitch, you complain. You complain too much. Like, bitch, I got you what you wanted and you still complaining. Like, what the fuck? Shut the fuck up. Shit. I hate old whiny ass bitch and shit. Ah, oh, damn. It, it, <laughs> I don't know, man. You just... You learn something new every day, though. That's all I got to say. Because, like I said, I ain't know me and Bobo... I ain't know we had smoke. I ain't know me and Bobo had smoke. <laughs> Everybody else is like, me neither. Hey, you feel me? This some new shit. Because Nia want to start some shit. Like, <laughs> yeah. where did smoke come from, Bobo? What is you talking about? He talking about, yeah, Dia told my sister that you said you ain't like me because I hit juice. What? First of all, number one, when you, when you, when you hit juice, or whatever the case, however the case, whatever happened, whatnot, because I wasn't there. <clears throat> but when you hit juice, was I there? What? Well, juice not my girlfriend. <laughs> I don't like niggas, so he not my girlfriend. You feel me? So, ain't Juice cool with you? Yeah, y'all talk, right? Right, so y'all cool, so who am I to have a problem with anything that ain't got shit to do with me? Make it make sense. See, that's that shit right there, and don't nobody like that shit. Everybody was like, nah, see, that's some fuck nigga shit. She need her ass beat for that. That's that shit that she she better stop that shit because somebody else gonna send somebody down there to come fuck her up. She better stop it and her weak ass baby daddy. Yeah, that nigga didn't like the simple fact that I was there and my people was too. He pulled the fuck off. He thought. 
he was gonna start some shit. He pulled the fuck off. Like, nigga, you either gonna get your ass beat, nigga, or you can get the fuck on with that bullshit. Cause ain't nobody, and Sean people had to say, nigga, no, you had, you gotta go. You can't come here with that shit. So, if that's what you want, you gotta go. Somebody went walking up to this car, I forgot who. I said, yeah, you gotta go, man. The family don't want it to be no smoke out here, bro. You gotta go. And Nichols, I'm going to beat that nigga ass. That nigga going to get his ass beat. I mean, they scary. Why is y'all... You, every time one of my brothers hit him up, and it be mostly Nick and shit, he was, oh, I ain't got no problem with your sister. I ain't got no problem with your sister. But then you want to talk cash shit like you hard or some shit when it's, it, it, it's just me and you or some shit. You feel me? Or you think my people ain't around. It just be some... He just be on some scary nigga shit. Like, nigga, are you serious? And niggas is like, nigga, you a hoe. Nigga, you a bitch. Like... Man, wait a minute, fire, everybody like, wait a minute. Man, at the end of the day, when the funeral was over and shit, <clears throat> fire like, look, we took a picture and shit, and he like, here my number, you keep my number, call me for whatever, or whoever, call me. Hey, nigga, stop playing, bro, like, these is my people down here, bro, like, <laughs> My, did none of them, did, did, did nobody down here for real know what motherfucking nigga until she got with me? Like, stop playing. Like, you trying to turn who against who? Right? You trying to turn my brother neighborhood, my, my people against me. You sound dumb. Just like she tried to do with my mama and shit. She had to talk about, yeah, that's why your mama said she don't like you. Even your mama said she's scared of you. When did my mama ever say she was scared of me? You sound dumb as fuck. Your mother is scared of you because all you do is yell and scream and cuss her the fuck out and shit because your brother don't want to fuck with you. Because your brother don't know, want none of y'all over at the house and shit. I mean, that says a lot. Your own brother don't fuck with you. Like, can't none of my brothers ever say they don't fuck with me. I, my bro- All my brothers fuck with me. I may have to cut Joey off because he don't know how to motherfucking act. Like, get your shit together, nigga. This is why you get cut off because you need to get your shit together and shit. Your brother just don't fuck with you because you talk too fucking much. You think you tough. You don't, you don't know how to fight. <laughs> that shit weird to me when you don't know how to fight and you got so much mouth. Like, that shit retarded. <laughs> like, no, nah, go sit back with your girlfriend. You want a toy, you got toy. Go sit back with your girlfriend. Shut the fuck up talking about me with your bitter ass. Like, damn, you ain't learned yet. Oh, somebody really gonna fuck her up. Somebody's gonna really fuck that girl up. But anyways, like I said, I'm gonna keep counting my blessings and shit. Because I'm not fucking with her. I don't plan to fuck with her. I don't want her back. She fucked that all the way up. I don't give a fuck if she get on some medication to help her big ass brain to think and act right. I still don't want her and shit. That bubble right there. That bubble right there. I still don't want her back though. Like out of here I, I don't because she she messed that up number one you re- she really fucked up when she threatened my life and then a it still is not an apology like i apologize to her right because like i said if i said i was gonna beat you up you still get to live and see another day you still get to live to to see your family you threatened my life and said you was gonna take my soul away from my motherfucking people there was no, she didn't apologize or nothing. So, yeah, she don't. I mean, she really should get her ass beat for that, though. She should get her ass beat for that shit. She should. And the more people find out about this story and our situation and shit, the angrier people get. And she talking about she want to talk to my exes and shit like that. Why? Because two exes then already found out and two exes is already mad and want to whoop her ass. Because I never did them hoes wrong. I never was a broke, I always took care of my bitches. Period. Respect and all that shit. She's the only bitch running around. Even Daisy can tell you I never did her wrong. She's the only one talking about, yeah, you broke and you this and that. If I was a stunting ass type of nigga, I would stunt on this bitch right now with lopes, nigga. Just because I didn't give you anything because I cut you off because you didn't know how to act, because you didn't know how to show respect, don't mean I'm a broke bitch. But like I said in another video, if I'm a broke bitch because I cut you off, then I'll be the brokest bitch in the whole wild motherfucking world. My bills is always paid and paid on motherfucking time. And so is all my credit card. My card note, everything. So, I'll be a broke bitch because I cut your ass off. Yeah. On to the next bitch. Because can't none of my bitches ever say I was a broke ass nigga. Can't none of my bitches ever say I didn't take care of them. Can't none of my bitches ever say I disrespected them. Or put my hands on them. Or anything like that. 
Can't none of them say that, and they will say that. Why she talking about, I want to talk to all your exes at this point. You's a groupie, weird-ass bitch. You want to talk to my exes? What type of shit is that? I don't even want to talk to them bitches. That's the type of bitch she is. Like, t- what time though? You want to talk to my exes? What? Go ahead and go. To- if you can find them bitches, go ahead. Go hit them up. And they're going to fuck you up. <laughs> That's what they're going to do. They're going to fuck you up. Just even hear a piece of the story. Like, excuse me? Bitch, you sound like you need your ass whooped. Especially Kaja. And Kaya. <laughs> They gonna want Ari. You gonna want to fight you too. That's that's the funny thing. She's your witness. She gonna want to fight you too. <laughs> like you, you just the hoeing yourself. You hoeing your even Nicole. Nicole never liked Nia anyways because Nicole feel like it's Nia fault that me and Nicole broke up. So she definitely she gonna off bail. She ever see Nia? She don't care about none of that talking shit. She don't care if you if she ever fix her mouth to lie to Nicole and say that I I was disrespectful to her. I was a broke ass nigga. Nicole gonna laugh at that bitch and be like, "That's what you get." Nah, I hope I know it ain't true, but I hope it is true. Nah, I hope she did hold you, bitch. And Nicole gonna laugh at her stupid ass. And Nicole gonna want to off bail for her anyway because, like I said, Nicole feel like it's Nia fault that I broke up with her. So. Oh, that's Rob. I thought that was Bubba. Oh, that is Bubba. Let me get out this car. Bubba! Bucks. <laughs> they running like a motherfucker. What up, Rob? Let me get my coffee together. Huh? Yeah, I gotta get my coffee together. <laughs> get you a brew. <laughs> right, you need to. <laughs> Man, what? <laughs> oh yeah, y'all niggas some hoes. Man, I just love you. <laughs> Jason, how you talking to me, boy?